A request that I get quite a bit from clients is, can we add some animation to our site? Can we make it pop? Can we make things shoot in from one side and slide up on the other? And I say, well, yes, we can put some animation in natively. I mean, unless you want like some crazy code, but there are some animation options. And weirdly, not everyone knows that Squarespace does have default animations that you can add. So you can add site-wide animations, and then you can also add animations to images. So I'm gonna show you both options and all of the animations available to you natively with Squarespace. Okay, so what we wanna do is hit site styles in the top right hand corner. And then we're gonna find animations, which is here. So we click that and then we've got all of our options here. So I'm using a template at the moment, which has slide applied. But if I click none, that's usually the default. So no animation. And then what Squarespace does is it shows us the animations in real time when we click them. So if I click fade, you can see everything fades, scale looks like this. Then we've got slide, which is probably a personal favorite of mine. Clip, which is this, and then flex, which is probably another favorite. The thing with flex is it comes with a lot of other implications on the site. So for instance, when I now go to the top, there's more of a gap at the top for some reason. I think this is a, well, it definitely is a Squarespace glitch, but if you Look, when I go to slide, it moves that back up. Flex, it moves it down. Strange, but you can negate that with some code that just moves the header up a little bit. But that, that's for another video. Basically, flex will also give you these animations when you hover on things as well. So it will do this on buttons, um, on links. You can see it has a slight hover effect there and down here. And it also has a hover effect when you do links in headers where the line underneath will sort of disappear as you hover. It's, it's, it's quite cool, but as I say, it has some implications with lots more things across the site than just how things sort of fade in or animate in. So that's just something to bear in mind with Flex. I still use it on a ton of sites because it, it, it is cool. But out of my two sort of favorites, um, if you want to be safe, you can just go with slide like this. And then I prefer slow but you can change the speed to be whatever you wish between slow, medium, and fast. So that's animations site-wide. If we click save and then we click site styles again, that will take us into the editor. Now, it's a funny one because with Fluid Engine, if we double click on an image and then click design, we can only have image effects. We can't have animation, which is really strange. I'm not sure why they've done this. Someone correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I, I could be wrong, but I can't see it here. Whereas in classic editor, so if I was to add a classic editor section here, you can see that when I add an image like this and go into design, it lets me select an animation as in which will animate in as I load the page. So you have a, a lot more as well. You can even add in a custom animation if you wish, but you get like a ton more granular detail on how you want to add an animation. So you can add animations to all of the images on a page and you can do it differently for each one which is great or you can just have site default or if you want none but if i was to upgrade so if i was to upgrade this section to fluid engine and then click on this and design animation goes no idea why no idea if it's moved it shouldn't it shouldn't have but that's just something to bear in mind if you're looking to add more animation to your images. Most people are fine with the site-wide stuff. I usually am, to be to be honest. But again, just something to bear in mind. So just to recap, you go into Site Styles and then Animations. That will do the site-wide. Then if we go back out of Site Styles, into the section, and then into a classic editor, we double-click the image, hit Design, and then we've got Animation. You can't do this on Fluid Engine. So that's the recap. Hopefully that helped. If it did, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and then check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.